That's what you do to stay clean. Siobhan Bullock is recovering from a drug addiction. She's been clean since 2006 when she started treatment at a neighborhood health clinic in Chicago. Bullock is uninsured and pays for the treatment out of her own pocket. It's hard these days. If you don't have insurance, it's really, really bad. I know. She takes Suboxone, which suppresses withdrawal symptoms and reduces cravings. It's a simple film that goes under her tongue, but a costly one. Suboxone is anywhere from $8 to $12 um, a film, and that runs about four to $500 a month. Imagine someone who's on a fixed income. They can't afford to pay for that prescription, even with discounts. Only one cent of every health care dollar in the United States goes toward addiction, and few alcoholics and drug addicts receive treatment. But starting in 2014, under the Affordable Care Act, insurers must provide coverage for substance abuse treatment. The uninsured will get that coverage through expanded Medicaid programs, along with other essential benefits. Access Community Health's Michelle Adams says it will ultimately cut costs for insurers. If they can get into recovery, then they're taking care of everything as far as their health is concerned, and you'll see less emergency room visits for just regular things because substance abusers also have health care needs. The problem, experts say, will be the flood of patients. Six months before enrollment begins for the new health insurance plans, addiction treatment is an extreme example of one of the health law's challenges, actually delivering all the care that people are entitled to. But even the future availability of treatment can open the door to the three to five million people in the U.S. struggling with drug and alcohol addiction, just like it did for Siobhan Bullock. It's just a lot of good things come behind it. A lot of positive good things. Noel Waghorn, The Associated Press.